Um, and I'm certainly not opposed to us, and we talked about it before I know, uh, taking over the decision. Um, but because this particular, um, you know, uh, piece of legislation we're looking at is just coming up, I'm not, I, I guess I'm concerned, not clear, whatever, about what is the liability for picking up on this thing. I know that there's contamination, you know, could apply for grants, but I just, before we make this step, oh, and I think we're ahead of the game. Oh, uh, this is the water sort. All right, we'll remember that then. <laughs> yes. All right. Any other questions regarding this one? Or no. The roll? Alden Jackson. Aye. Alden Fairwell. Aye. Alden Montoya. Aye. Alden McGee. Aye. Alden Carr. Aye. Alden Roll. Aye. Six eyes, remember. Thank you. Now, on uh, resolution from the city of Wild County, Illinois, authorizing to approve a even rural foreclosure. Settlement agreement regarding 12548 Southwestern, commonly known as the Fanning Gas Station. So I need a motion second, and then I know the order. Motion, Alderman Montoya, second, all the roll. On the question. Okay, so anyway, like I, I said, not. like I said, yeah. um, I just, I, I'm just a little uncomfortable with kind of not knowing what clip we're stepping on with this thing, although I certainly think it's a potentially a good thing. So I can get anybody to settle my concern. So I believe that um, the mayor has talked to Burke Engineering. Uh, there are grants available to help us dig out the tanks. Um, we did receive a quote that even without the strains, it would be between fifty thousand and hundred thousand. We're getting the property for nothing. So the biggest risk we have is that if there is some type of contamination, we wouldn't be able to sell it. But it didn't cost us anything, and at least we can clean it all up and figure it out from there. Or not for face with There's a lot of options like other contaminated plants. It's part of my mayor's comments too. I was going to address it. But overall, I think when we talked about a committee way back when we first got the crisis, business district will put it in the budget for next year. It's still not the cost that everybody was scared of being involved for the big eyesore that this for all touching. And I will say the owner was not concerned about potential contamination because he wanted to buy back property. Um, and pay off the lien, but then it was just too much back taxes that he had not paid, so that did not come people for him any longer. But, All right, thank you. For what that's worth. I just want to say, I do think that it's important that we do this because it has been an eyesore for such a long time. 20 years. Yeah. 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 And, and, well, I mean, I was in high school and I pulled down. I've been out of high school 23 years. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Not for the role. Alvin Johnson. Aye. Alvin Fairwell. Aye. Alvin Montoya. Aye. Alvin McKee. Aye. Alvin Park. Aye. Alvin Roll. Aye. Good night, Your Honor. There is next on the next page of the resolution. Stu Wyoming for County Illinois. Authorizing a fleet of tax increment finance for development agreement with Butter Farm Bacon LLC, located at 13311 Old Western Avenue with Suite One, also commonly known as Jevons Hardware. And it's also part of my mayor's comment, but just sort of it's the same exact agreement that we have with Rebel Creamery that fell through. This one, they already have an agreement with the landlords, they're ready to go, and it's going to be the same thing ice cream power and bakery. So the agreement is exactly the same as what we agreed to to. But I mentioned in a committee that we're working with two other people that are interested. These were also the same part of the partnership, part of them, both the island residents, one lives on Kruger, the other lives on High. They're coming together to do this business. Um, one of them lived, uh, they ran the kitchen out of the right over the house. So, you know, one part of the owner. So, is there a motion? Alder Montoya, second by Alder General on the question. Okay, Alder General. Um, so, a um, couple of thoughts about it that I have. Uh, one is, I do know that the, you know, the potential partners here are very reputable, they've been working hard. So, my comments are in no way reflective of any um, skepticism or whatever about their capabilities. Um, and it sounds like that's a good thing for the Rwanda to have them come and do what they want to do. At the same time, um, and, and again, Mark had some questions about this, Mark, you know, kind of helping them see, you know, the money's coming from the tip, they're going to get that. My, I guess my concern at the end of the day on this is, unlike the, um, uh, you know, grants we give for facade improvements, I'm not aware that we really have a process that lays out steps and procedures that anyone would have to go through. And I'm a little concerned about opening the door to this um, because we don't, see, I mean, it's, it's just a sort of an ad hoc thing that we're doing. And that concerns me in terms of what, what it, what, what it uh, would mean in the future. And 
I would prefer that we would have, I don't know how that would work, but something like we have for the, uh, the uh, facade improvements where there's a program available and there's TIF money that would like with that. But there are other, I mean, there's also potential other uses for the TIF money. So you kind of, I, it's just, I, I'm more concerned about, I mean, more than a little bit concerned, I'm very concerned about what this how this open door for us down the road. Well, I, I saw some of the comments. Mm -hmm. The easiest way I think that I can tell this is that unlike the business plan, which doesn't go through council because it's part of money is available to everybody, mm -hmm. this is a case by case, kind of like the special use. So the last one we had was Florida's gas station, which is a major one. This is very minor compared to that. And it's only used for people in the fifth district, which is the primary cause for it to just be developed with one chip. The money has to be it's reimbursed only, and it's capital improvement attached to the facility itself. It's not like for a chip. It's for stuff that's fixated in the property. And again, use by use, would have to go through the council anyway. So we can, by all means, have an application process, but we still have to have power, the attorneys. This is the development agreement that's put together for this. Although, it, couldn't this be a fund though? And I, you know, I, I guess there's some interest in avoiding having to uh, make decisions through council. But you know, I, I, I think establishing criteria, making them public, and allowing uh, interested parties to apply for it on an annual basis um, would be good for the city. But I think it would eliminate even the appearance that the city is in any way playing favorites with one prospective business over over another, for example. Uh, but I, you know, I, I just like to. Add that on to the audience's comments. That, that pretty well does reflect my feelings about it. Um, and again, nothing against the folks who are applying because I think they're, they're fine people. I have no issue establishing uh, something similar to business like a form to uh, get the general information going. That's mm -hmm. simple in how stuff. All right. Well, if, if you will make a commitment to that, then I would vote for this. That's not it. But it's a one time. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, this house would have to, um, you said it, it deals with anything that's like a fixture to the, the actual property to itself, right? Um, and that we apply to the exterior of the, of the property as well. As yeah, not like signage or anything like that. It's got to be fixed to the property. Okay. Plumbing, uh, fire, uh, what's it called? Like extinguisher system, that kind of stuff. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, nothing else. Uh, roll call, please. Alder Johnson. Aye. Alder Bearwalk. Aye. Alder Mansoeta. Aye. Alder Nathan McGee. Aye. Alder Carr. Aye. Alder Roll. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Last week, resolution from the City of Lyle for County, Illinois, to authorize and approve a license agreement for Gallagher Asphalt. So there's no motion. Alder Roll, Alder Roll, Alder Bearwalk. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Let's do the roll. Alder Johnson? Aye. Alder Bearwell? Aye. Alder Marsoya? Aye. Alder McGee? Aye. Alder Carr? Aye. Alder Rowe? Aye. Good side, Your Honor. Thank you. I'll start with a nice letter. Again, I'm getting a, somebody's come in, but I want to, this one pertains to the police department. Dear Mayor Lotto, I'm writing this letter to you to inform you how appreciative I am of the efforts to go out police department. As a bit of background, on June 26th, I discovered that someone broke into my garage. I called the police department, Sergeant Badger, Officer Bailey, Officer Mauricio, and Officer Colon all responded to my residence. They were professional, sympathetic, and informative. Once these officers concluded their assessment, it was explained to me that this matter would be forwarded to the detective division. Commander Slattery immediately assigned the case to Detective Martino. Shortly after, I was informed that an arrest had been made. Only one of the stolen items was so far returned to me. In conclusion, Mr. Mayor, I want to thank you and the officers for the dedication and proficiency in solving this burglary. I'm very scared that bur the burglar would come back and do something worse. I was so relieved that they caught this man so quickly and could stop stressing over the event. And I'll leave the name off for open reasons. But it's good to hear some things. So thank you, Chief, and please let your officer know. Thank you, Mayor Thomas Gallagher is finally out cutting concrete starting today. We're starting north and south. Um, they're going to be cutting concrete the rest of the week, curbs and sidewalks. I believe they're starting to grade Monday. Um, I know they already notified the residents the first three streets they're starting by hand delivering letters to the mailboxes. Um, if you guys want to call us concerning that, the letter was very nicely written. They had a direct contact. And when I called direct contact, they answered the phone right away. It was the persons. They had to go through a whole uh, voicemail machine, but uh, so far so good. The process is starting. Um, our alley program is 
pilot is ending for the season. That's something we need to discuss in the for the budget uh, for next year. But I believe that so far it's been pretty successful. Every award is at least in one alley we done during the pilot program. And over the next few months, I want you to evaluate, make suggestions, and we do this on a larger scale. Anything we can do differently. But I think it was uh, something one of the last the Jim Paul School moves is to try this out while we couldn't get uh, optional uh, optional things. I think it's been very successful. Oh, that's what I have you. Can I ask one question? Yeah. You said, they, I understood you to say that they are sending a letter to each household. Yes, yeah. they already started. I have a Okay. Yeah, actually, it's someone posted on one of the point on social media sites. So I guess in the copy. That's how I saw it. I didn't approve it, but straight from Gallagher, you're going to have the screen read on. Please contact us for accessibility issues, that kind of stuff. Old Western, as uh, mentioned in the event tonight, with the alderman, uh, well, finally, the ice cream parlor is something that the neighborhood has wanted for a long time with Blue Island as a whole. But we're also lucky, I believe there's another one open in the office up top, too. So both sections now will have one. Um, remediation of the gas station again over 20 year ice storm web is finally done. We've been talking about this since I've taken office. Uh, the only way to do it from a legal standpoint and through IEPA was to take ownership of the property. Now that we do, there's different things we can do going forward, but we know the worst case scenario is something the city can afford to remediate, and that's something I hope we can do while we're also going after some grant money. I mentioned it, the city will let us. So that's all I have for mayor comments. Uh, city clerk. Uh, Channel 4 is going to be running. We'll put that in the speed. Um, so if any um, uh, park district, I want to say not park district, township, library, nonprofit organization um, has information to be set to fill out the form at City Hall. Um, Scarecrow, we are going to work with the park district to do a scarecrow package throughout the community. Uh, I'm going to ask the office aldermen and the city officials to have a scarecrow on the work in Western at the park that we did last year. Plus, we're inviting the community to to take part in it also. The park and city will be working together. Um, so we're just with all this together be better. Um, Eagles is having the Eagles Fest this Saturday on the uh, city grounds. They've all been approved. Um, Smile Crowd, November 9th, is free dental. It's an Archer Avenue and Summit for all veterans. It's a veterans um, celebration. Um, Art Alliance is having a concert on the court, September 24th at 6 30 on Greenwood, 127 Thank you. City Treasurer. Uh, one thing, uh, I get a motion to uh, approve the monthly treasurer's report ending August 31st, 2022. Well, we're all second ballot round. So, yeah, I have a question. Or please do the roll. Uncle Johnson. Hi. Alderman Bear Walk. Hi. Alderman Montoya. Hi. Alderman Key. Hi. Alderman Park. Hi. Alderman Rock. Hi. Thank you. 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 Thank Discuss. Uh, but I just want to let everyone know I dropped off uh, some money for your desk from Ted Rickenberg at the Park District. Uh, it's a QR code um, to help you sign up for truck or treat. Uh, the city will have a presence there. The police department, uh, the mayor, and the clerk of the treasurer will have a presence there. Uh, but if you haven't done truck or treat before, uh, especially for the relevant, uh, I would always suggest considering doing it. Really, all you need is a vehicle and um, a pretty good amount of candy. Uh, gets to upwards of a thousand kids there. Uh, so it's a, a program that we, when I was the director of the park district and working a lot with uh, the, now, the now clerk for a board member there, uh, we spent a lot of time building up. Um, it's become one of the better programs in the city. So I'm just encouraging all the other to participate in some way, shape, or form, or just um, uh, be present for it because it's a lot of our community. There. So that's all I have. Let's go to the question. Any questions? <laughs> Following hours as normal will be on the next city council agenda. I have also something I forgot yeah. about the health fair. The health fair is October 1st. As of right now, we have 17 vendors for inside. We have food vendors. I believe there's going to be a farmer's market outside. And we have several different dance classes throughout the day. So uh, I will be here for all of you tomorrow. Thank you. We do have an executive session, but before then, are there any relevant comments, concerns, reports, announcements? I just want to thank the uh, Farm District uh, 
Teddy Rudenberg uh, for uh, working with the uh, Blue Island Kentucky Moves. We ended up having uh, over 40 kids, so we got two levels, and we are currently undefeated right now. And Alsa was one of the ones that fell to the uh, Blue Island Kentucky Moves. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Robert? Uh, I just wanted to yeah, I just wanted to thank uh, all, all the all the residents that came out and participated in, in uh, the black party that we had uh, this, this past week. Uh, it was uh, an excellent affair and it's great when community can get together. And then, you know, there's residents that were um, there 20 years and never met each other. So you know it's great when we have a, uh, events like this. And I, I'm looking forward to next year having uh, Quite the number of black parties. Thank you. Any other comments? Now we need a motion to go on as I perceive. Mark Merrill, the host of Melvin Turnbull. We're here to discuss the permanent compensation and discipline performance of business owners and employees. Under 5 ILCS, this is not litigation as a trial or a planning for a court or an administrator. I do not actually come up with a little bit of a look at it. All of the chat. Aye.
Any motion to resume the regular session? I'll in power. I'll in the second. Any question? Any exactly the session? Can you talk about some settlements? Settlements? Yeah. That's it. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. I'll in power. I'll in the second. I'll in the second. I'll in the second. I'll in the second.